Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a uh, look and review of uh, basically the latest build of Windows 10 and it's the second build this week so this is build uh, 14379 you see it here in the waterfall on the bottom right the waterfall the watermark on the bottom right of my screen and uh, hopefully soon we'll have the official version where the watermark will be uh, gone from the screen so um, I wanted, you know, at, at first it was like, oh yeah, a new build two days later, maybe I shouldn't do a review so fast. But then again, I thought, why not? And why not add in a little something about um, just a few hints of the new features for those that are wondering. So uh, it was released late yesterday, second build this week. Uh, builds have been really coming in fast and it's, um, it's cool, you know, I like that. Um, Again, flawless install, worked fantastic from the start, no bugs, I've used it at least about three hours yet last night, I've used it a good three hours this morning, no issues at all on this thing, it's extremely stable and you can see that, you know, very high quality builds uh, coming out of Microsoft right now, which is a real good sign, you know, when we, uh, Windows 10 was released, uh, we, we were a little scared because, you know, builds only a month before were kind of weird and buggy, but they, they, they really be, became nice, you know, from the start. Um, basically, what's fixed here, they fixed issues with credential uh, UI, might not be enough to display the content on PC with IDPI. They fixed an issue where the Action Center might actually crash after you would say, okay, I, I want to remove a, a large number of um, notifications. They fixed an issue where the Centennial app launches from start to Cortana wouldn't count towards the app bubbling up in starts uh, most used list. They fixed an issue where no note would have keyboard focus after um, minimizing and reopening the sticky notes app. And there's one issue in here that they know of. Continuum for your phone on your PC via the Connect app will not work. So this should be fixed in the next build. So um, this is a build in the fast ring. You got to be in the fast ring. Both mobile and PC had the same build released yesterday. Um, so like I said, you know, it's, it's no new features, bug fixes. This is where they're at right now. Um, a little tour, maybe, of, you know, some of the features of uh, Windows 10. So, first, the central part, of course, when you log in, there's a new uh, login screen, uh, which is the lock screen, which is really nice. You know, instead of having that lock screen that is kind of different from the rest, it's kind of molded into the computer itself. So, it, it, it feels much better, the, the, the lock screen where you enter your password is uh, very nice. I actually like that. Uh, Cortana, lots of integration of Cortana. Uh, so basically, so basically there's, you know, a lot of stuff that is, of course, um, integrated with Cortana. So when you now have, you know, all sorts of details, like if you, um, have emails and you have your calendar and you got stuff Cortana can now uh, you know do one 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 plus one equal two so say you've got a um, Friday night concert at 7 p.m. and you forgot and you get this uh, email or in this in the calendar uh, oh yeah um, do you want to meet me uh, for a beer on Friday evening at the uh, 8 well Cortana will be able to say um, you got a conflict. So what do you want to do? Do you want to reschedule one of the events? What do you want to do? You know, it's, it's getting much more intelligent in the way that it's actually seeing things. It is also more intelligent in um, the way that it wants to give you content of what you want to see. So uh, great improvements with Cortana. Improvements on the start menu improvements there uh, now you have the all apps list always displayed here which I think is a good idea why not you know it's uh, it, it, people are searching for their apps and their programs all the time 
And it's one of the complaints that some people were saying is like, hey, I can't find my programs. Well, the program list is always displayed now. So it, uh, it's cool for that. Of course, uh, you know, reworked start menu with um, a dark theme everywhere. If you want to have the dark theme enabled, that's what I have right now. So uh, this is also something a lot of people were, you know, in, in, in Windows 10 right now, you can have dark themes for specific apps. But this one is dark theme for uh, pretty much uh, everywhere that you want. Um, there's, of course, you know, new things like, for example, the antivirus now has the Windows Defender as its uh, little shield right here in the, the bottom in the taskbar, which is something that I was asking. You know, a lot of people were saying, well, you know, you're, uh, why are you asking for that? Uh, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. There's a way that you feel more secure if you always have the eye on the antivirus icon especially because the icon will change depending on, uh, you know, is your computer at risk or not. And you have a visual all the time. And you are more secure in viewing what's happening with your antivirus than not knowing at all and even not knowing if it's working. Uh, you know, I don't give much importance to the antivirus because I always say you're the security of your computer, not the antivirus. But yet, having a visual is uh, something that I, you know, always wanted and now it's there. The uh, Action Center also uh, has, you know, animations uh, now when there's something happening in there. It has all sorts of animations showing up. Uh, pretty cool. I've seen the icons at the bottom right also. The notification having, uh, for example, if you've got a new mail, you briefly see an animation of the mail, the envelope for the mail app. And it turns and then you have this number saying, oh, okay, you've got a notification. Uh, you know, little details, little animations are cool. Um, of course, things, you know, some things have changed. Uh, uh, for example, when you uh, want to see the networks and stuff, uh, there's uh, uh, more information, more settings there uh, when you want to connect to uh, a network, for example. Um, there's also icons everywhere. So if you go to all settings, uh, of course, once again, here's the dark team for all settings. Uh, you can, of course, you could always uh, before, but you can search for settings and stuff. But you know what? When you look at, you click a category, look at the left of each of the categories. You now have little icons that represent each of the categories. So you can you know, relate to a little drawing, a little icon now when you do something. Uh, lots of the menus have been revamped, changed. Here you see network status the way it is. It's uh, different in the way that it shows our information also. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's really nice. I, I do enjoy having that. Um, and, um, you know, pretty much everywhere they've revamped everything. They've uh, tweaked here and there on, you know, the File Explorer, they've changed the icons, they've improved upon some of the icons, they've changed a little bit the coloring, the way things happen, uh, so that it's less drab, and you have a little more details. Um, also, um, when you um, go through, you know, the system, things f feel crisp and and pretty fast. Uh, I'd say there's they, they've really tweaked for the speed of the operating system here. Uh, Edge is, of course, the browser that now has extensions. So now when you want, you can go to the little, uh, you know, more options on the upper right corner, go into extensions. It's going to tell you the ones that are installed. You can get more extensions from the store. This is cool. You know, this is something that people were waiting for. Getting extensions uh, is a nice nice feature that a lot of people will want. Um, apart from that, updates on every app. So I mean, you know, the movies and TV app got updated. Uh, Groove app was uh, updated. Uh, they are different. They, uh, of course, I will be, as soon as the official release, you know, uh, will be there, I'll be checking out all of these apps and 
talk, you know, talking you through uh, everything you can do with them. And, you know, uh, the store has been revamped. Uh, this is really nice, you know. Every um, bit of the Windows operating system has been kind of uh, fixed. So, um, you know, I think that's cool. I think it's uh, something that was necessary to make the Windows 10 feel even better. Once again, crisp, fast operating system. Um, I think the anniversary update will be great. Of course, once again, as soon as you know the official release is there, I'll have tons of videos uh, explaining and going through all of the details of the Windows 10 operating system itself and uh, the new features and going through new features and uh, maybe re-explaining some of the features that I already talked about, but because they have changed, we're going to remake the videos of some of these settings so that uh, you know people uh, can find their way through all of that. So uh, it's coming soon, you know, we're a month away um, from the release. The release is August 2nd, so we, I expect to have, you know, maybe four or five new builds uh, before we uh, officially get that, that build that will be the official anniversary update or what Microsoft called for a long time, Redstone. You, know, you can see the RS1 here, Redstone 1. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informing new videos online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. If you've installed this, if you're an insider, um, you know, what do you think? Um, I find this to be quite cool. I find that it's uh, really nice. Um, maybe you have your own observations out of that. And uh, why not share your own experience with uh, these uh, latest builds of Windows 10?